The long-awaited Blender 3.5 is finally here, and it came with not only one, not two, but many major features that we're gonna talk about in this video. And these features will change how we see Blender forever, so make sure to stick around till the end because this will be interesting. So to start off, the biggest new feature that was added to this version of Blender is the hair nodes. The new curves base hair system was first introduced in Blender 3.3 and it took a major leap in this release by adding nodes to it where creating and grooming fancy hair is now easier than ever. You can do that to any kind of hair, fur or grass. And it is powerful because it uses the flexibility of geometry nodes. And to make stuff easier, Blender now includes hair assets to let you experience its full power with less complexity. There are 26 built-in hair assets in the Essential Asset Library split into categories Deformation, Generation, Guides, Utility, Read and Write. And by using these assets, you can generate new hair curves on a surface mesh from scratch at point locations. And you can interpolate, duplicate, attach, clump, curl, braid, frizz, smooth, and roll these hair curves in addition to many operations that you can do. The second big feature is support for vector displacement maps brushes, where it has been added to the draw brush in the sculpt mode. This kind of map offers a simple method for producing intricate shapes with overhangs in a single brush stroke such as ears, noses, mouths, horns, and many more. Another major feature is the real-time compositor, and I consider this one of the best so far and it is really helpful. Blender developers call this feature what you comp is what you get, and it is basically a new GPU-based compositor backend that takes the 3D viewport to the next level. This will give a new whole experience with Blender viewport where you can do modeling while compositing on the overlays drawn on top of the compositing result, allowing you to see and interact with your mesh and other objects. However, you need to know that this feature is still new and it is part of a big project, therefore, some nodes and view layer passes are not supported yet, but they will be available in the future. Also, a happy news for Mac users, the 3D viewport now makes native use of metal, which means you'll be able to leverage massive performance improvements, especially for animation playback and EV rendering. Cycles also got some attention in this release, where it can now use a light tree to more effectively sample scenes with many lights which will allow you to get a nicer result, and you can do that even faster. So these are only some of the few features in Blender 3.5 that we wanted to highlight. And if you want to check the full release notes, you will find the link in the description down below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software and the CG industries in general. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.